another Hemp's review. So this one is one of the limited edition scents. I Did I pick it up this year or last year? I think I picked it up earlier this year, but it was like a holdover from last year? Was that it? I don't know. I can't remember anymore, but this is the Spun Sugar and Vanilla Bean Herbal Body Moisturizer. Now, I had a feeling that this one um, was going to smell very similar to the Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath & Body Works, and that's why I got the itty bitty size, because I was like, in case it's like that, there's no way in hell I'm going to use a big bottle of it. I'm just not going to. But a little bitty one, I could do that. So we're going to find out if it does or doesn't. <laughs> I love that gold cap, though. It's so pretty. I am bummed that my hours were so cut at work that I couldn't justify buying the Christmassy scents. Maybe next year. Maybe. Who knows? We'll see how it plays out. But this year, it's like it anywhere between four and seven hours a week. I, I can't justify spendy purchases like this on frivolous shit at the moment. In times when I'm earning more, I can justify it. Right now, no. So, anyway. Glad that I got this at a time when it did not hurt my wallet, but anyway. Let's go ahead. I love this brand, so hopefully this will not disappoint. Be great if it would come out. There we go. Right off the bat, it's about the same color as a uh, vanilla sugar. Oh god, I'm nervous. Okay, okay. I, I don't need to be nervous. It doesn't smell like it. Okay, thank god. Because if it did, I'm pretty sure I would hurl. I don't know what it is about the warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works. It just, it's so gaggy to me. It always makes me want a vom. <laughs> don't know why. I apologize if you love that one, but I just cannot with that one. There's something about it that just, ugh, turns my stomach every damn time. And normally I love vanilla scents, so that pisses me off that I can't use that one. This almost smells like there's something, like, floral in it. That's so weird. Um, thankfully, it's not over-the-top gaggy sweet. On the same token, still glad I didn't buy a big-ass bottle of it, because, I mean, I like it, but I, I don't know that I like it enough to, to use a whole big bottle of it, you know? Um, the, the little one's fine. They, they still last plenty long, because this stuff I mostly just use on my hands, but... What does that smell like? By the way, this costs $7.99 for this itty bitty little bottle, which is why, another reason why I could not justify the big ones, so, because they're like 20 something. Maybe next year for the Christmas ones. I, I wanted to this year, but it just, funds did not allow, so maybe next year. <laughs> um, little itty bitty bottle, it's pretty pricey for being itty bitty, but, um, like, obviously there is vanilla bean. And, like, sugar. But there's something else, and it's making me crazy trying to figure out what is that other scent. Because there's, like, another scent in there. And the more that it dries down, the more I'm like, is it floral? Or is it a very, very, very light fruit? It's almost like a really, really, really faint, almost I don't know if pale is a word to use with scent, but I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Really faint version of, like, their traditional original moisturizer scent. It's almost like that, but really watered down and then mixed with this. So I'm like, oh, maybe it is fruit and not floral. Okay. Like, the longer it's on, it's shifting. And I'm like, oh. Okay. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. So glad I only have a tiny bottle of it though because I'm just like there, there's no way I would use a whole big bottle of this one it just no <laughs> it's not that interesting it's interesting but it's okay it's I like it I like it enough to use up this size but I don't think I would buy it twice but that said no greasies that quick absorbed in which is why I like using it on my hands. Which does also make me justify spending as much as I do on hemp's because I can use it on my hands without it staying greasy for a hell of a long time. It's like the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy line of lotions. It reminds me a ton of that. Not quite as quickly absorbing as that, but pretty close. Pretty close. Takes a little bit longer, but not by much. So, 
good to know. But, um, but it does smell good. It's not bad. It just, like I said, I wouldn't buy it twice, but I mean, it's nice. <laughs> um, my hands do feel really, really soft now that I put that on, which, boy, they needed it. <laughs> they are so fucking dry right now from all the hand washing this part of the year, but, oh boy. Um, oh, what would I rate it? I still feel like it's overpriced for what it is. I'm not gonna lie. It just, it is. It is. Eight dollars for an itty bitty little thing. Like, I'm sorry that's overpriced. What? And I dropped it. At least it didn't open. I was so scared that was gonna land in my coffee, though. Like, that's why I was like, no! <sighs> if that had been one inch further, that would have landed in my coffee. I'd much rather pick up, like, the two things that slid down that it hit than it landed in the coffee. No collateral damage. All right, we win. So, um, it's overpriced for what it is. Although that was my karma for me calling it out for being overpriced. So that's a point down against it. But other than that, I think I'd still give it a four out of five. I still recommend it. I feel like somebody out there would like be really, really into this scent, even though I'm not. But the formula is fantastic. Not gonna lie. It is fantastic. And they do sales all the effing time. So you could probably get it a lot cheaper than that if you time it out right. I think right now they don't have this one up because they have the Christmas ones up. Although last year this time they still had the autumnal ones up. So I don't know. Maybe they sold out this year. I don't know. But um, they do bring them back annually. So do not despair. If you missed out this year, they bring them back. So... <laughs> This is like one of the classics. I, I've watched them for a few years now. They always bring it back, but um, I'm sure you could also find it on like Amazon or eBay if you really wanted to and d don't want to wait. But um, yeah, I do recommend it because it's a really nice formula and it is a pleasant scent. And like I said, I'm, I'm sure it's somebody's jam more than it is mine. But I mean, I'll still happily use up what I've got in this little bitty size here. So I think it's the only time I've gone out of my way to buy one of the bitty sizes from them because I was just so unsure about this scent. But at the same time, Morbid Curiosity had to know. Because I was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I just noticed a thing. Oh, oh, it has shimmer. It has shimmer. I'm so glad I did not touch my face while it was wet. I did not realize it had shimmer until now. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. I don't think it is. I think it's just looking... Uh, there's a couple little pieces that are reflecting. It looks oily on my skin right now, but I swear it doesn't feel greasy. But, um, yeah, there's like a couple flecks of shimmer that I am noticing the light bouncing off of. Yeah, I like just noticed that. I was like, oh, I did not know that was a thing. It's not as shimmery as that, um, the starfruit and yuzu or whatever it was, the one that I reviewed on Ringo's birthday. It's not as shimmery as that. But there is definitely shimmer, and I don't think that's listed on it anywhere. <laughs> um. Let's see here. It does not. It mentions Shimmer nowhere on this, so be aware it's shimmery if you're gonna wear it. Um, thankfully, I'm not mad about it, but I could see somebody putting that on and being like, what the fuck? <laughs> so for somebody, that might be another point down for them, but I think for me, it's subtle enough to where I, I don't mind. I'm not mad, but yeah, I absolutely had no idea. Yeah, I'm noticing it on this hand even more. I'm like, Oh, that's a thing. I sparkle right now. Okay. Okay, I'm sparkly. Cool. Cool. Holiday vibes. All right. All right. I'll be sparkly. I don't care. But I am glad I didn't get it on my face. Cause, oh, I don't think I want to sparkle on my face right now. Just not so much. Not today. Maybe another time. Not today. Anyways. 
kind of babbling, so I'm gonna wrap this up. So anyways, um, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya. Side note. You can see how sparkly it is now. I figured that out by accident when I went to turn the camera off, so that is how shimmery it is, just so we're aware. Okay, bye.